What's going on everyone? It's the L7C here getting ready for the next live stream of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, continuing the Thanksgiving trend of doing the podcast live. So now we are going to be doing, like I said, Dragon Ball Super. Uh, we're just waiting for the Dragon Ball expert to pop in here. And while we wait, let's just uh, take it easy and wait. <laughs> and this is the third live podcast that we have done three in two days, which is pretty crazy. Just waiting. Yes, sir. The captain just waiting on the Dragon Ball expert. Hopefully, he said he'll be on in a couple minutes. Just getting back. So, we're just going to take our time there. I'm going to share screen. Yep, just be patient, everyone. Be patient. And we'll get this going. One moment, everybody.
All right, back in here. He's just downloading, downloading Zoom. He did get a new computer, so waiting on, still waiting on that. But we are going to be talking some Dragon Ball Super Chapter ninety nine that came out on the twentieth uh, two days ago. So we're going to be talking about that. This is really going to be the end. Of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Retelling. And then Manga Chapter 100 to end the year. Uh, December 20th. We'll have new stuff. But again, just waiting for... Waiting for the Dragon Ball Expert. All right, he's in the waiting room. I'm going to get him in the waiting room real quick. Oh, so I'm going to do the intro this go around? Or... Uh, I mean, I've, I've, dude, I have to wait for you to come, so technically I've already done the whole intro and told everyone we were just waiting for you to be on, but the Dragon Ball expert has joined us. I wonder if I could say it just like you, you know, just like... Well, you can go welcome, ahead, I mean... Welcome, everyone, to the L7C podcast. Is that the one you want to do, or... Because we are, we are currently live, so you only get... Well, you get no, multiple like, takes, so go ahead. I, go ahead. I was, just, I was just mimicking you. Oh, you know? well... It's it's pretty standard practice, you know. You got you got your intro, you got your mojo, and you know, you just you're, you're the pro, man. You're the expert, you're the professional. I guess so. Yes, this is the third live podcast this week. Sec second one today uh, for the Thanksgiving week, so that we can get these out to you guys as quickly as possible. So doing this live, it's the last live one of the week, last podcast of the week. It is the Dragon Ball podcast, uh, Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 99 with the Dragon Ball expert, Mitch Oso. How are you doing today, man? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Just got back from Florida, so, you know, just flew in and the uh, first uh, order of business was getting on the podcast, man. <laughs> and good. I think, yeah, we haven't done just a live chapter review, and I guess the beauty of doing this live chapter review is since I'm sharing my screen with you with the chapter... The people on YouTube as well will be able to see the chapter with us. Sounds like a good plan then. So I got it. Uh, I have the chapter on my phone here. So um, I'll just uh, as you progress through and we'll just we'll just go along here. So alrighty, chapter 99. Full disclosure, everyone. I've only wrote or um, road. I can't get the words out of my mouth. I've only read this chapter. Uh, once uh, again since I was in Florida so uh, do a little uh, double tap here and make sure that uh, we cover our bases but uh, chapter 99 uh, Sun Gohan's Ultimate Awakening uh, um, and it starts off here uh, with a battle between uh, Cell Max and uh, Piccolo and Piccolo has a plan uh, of course of 
getting Gohan to um, you know start to uh, powering up to uh, deliver the finishing blow to Cell Max and well uh, we see a little bit of fighting here between uh, Cell and Piccolo and Piccolo just you know kind of getting stomped in his uh, big uh, orange form here you know and uh, so we get a good couple panels um, nothing that we didn't see really um, uh, different you know Cell still doesn't have his uh, left arm um, he uh, just like in the movie didn't regenerate it uh, obviously maybe he just doesn't know that he should have that capability or um, what not so uh, moving on to the next page just you know just a little bit uh, more fighting 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 and uh, I'm gonna have to I know it's a live uh it's very live, but that that's basically what goes on here for a little bit. It's just <laughs> Pickles and Cell Max just keep decking it out and um just trying to go through here where some of the you know, some of the uh storylines get uh get told here. We might get a remark from Krillin saying that uh you know, Pickle is basically on his uh you know, he's on his uh, last little bit there, and that go on just going to keep powering up. And, uh, we get a little bit of uh, fat Gotenks uh, involved here, and uh, all the Z Fighters decide that uh, they're going to try to assist uh, Piccolo, and uh, fat uh, Gotenks gets, you know, he gets smacked around a little bit. Uh, Krillin and 18, uh, they chime in. Uh, they get smacked around. We get uh, Gamma One um, trying to assist. He tries to shoot a big old blast. However, he gets uh, snuck up on by Cell, and he gets well, just like everyone else, he gets smacked down to the dirt. And Gohan is watching everyone, you know, just get beat up, just reminiscent of the Z uh, saga with with Cell and. He just watched all of his friends just get beat up and unable to do anything against Cell, and in this case, Cell Max. And Piccolo thinks to himself that, you know, he's got to figure out how to slow down Cell Max. Get a pretty good um, illustration here on, uh, on this page of Piccolo catching mm -hmm. um, Cell's kick to his abdomen there and also catches his tail and you know smacks him in the face with it so good illustrations all around and doesn't do really much to sell because all he does on the next panel here is just blast the shit out of piccolo's arm so now cell doesn't have his left arm and now piccolo doesn't have his left arm and and they just continue on fighting and uh Go on, just makes a remark uh, that you know Piccolo doesn't have um, too much longer to last, and Piccolo tells him to you know figure it out and get back, and uh, no matter what happens to him, just you know keep on, keep on trucking, keep on focusing. So a little more so Max and uh, Go on fight, a um, little bit of dialogue from Pan that's kind of uh, irrelevant, just uh, you know Piccolo getting smacked. And now we're getting to the point where um, Piccolo gets uh, you know, he gets smacked back up in the air just like how it was uh, in the movie. And this is, uh, if anyone knows what is about to happen, this is what the turning point is. And um, so as Piccolo gets smacked up, he gets shot with a huge uh, energy beam. Uh, and we see uh, Gamma 1. Uh, going up to try to intercept it and then giant explosion and go on thinking that Piccolo has died and begins his his beast go on transformation where he snaps uh, reminiscent of the Z saga again and here comes his transformation and you know as as the dust settles we see Gohan's extremely long, spiky hair, his beast uh, Gohan form, and they—they they did draw. They drew this really well, though. Oh, tons, 
tons of electricity, you know, just reminiscent of when Gohan first went Super Saiyan 2, <laughs> and it's, it, it looks real good. It looks really, really good. So it can't, can never, can never really bash Toritaro with, with, when he puts pen to paper, he, he makes it look real good, and as we can see here, Cell is clearly outmatched already, tries to punch Gohan, and, uh, doesn't even make him budge, and just, Cell's just gonna get his ass kicked right now, so, <laughs> um, you know, the, the great scene from the movie, they put in the panel here of Gohan just kicking the abdomen of Cell Max, and just blast him away, uh, no Android 17 spewing out of Cell's uh, guts, <laughs> let's go around though, uh, Gohan then realizes that, um, that Gamma One was able to use his, um, you know, energy shield technique to protect uh, Piccolo. Which that was different. That wasn't in the movie, if I remember. Uh, no, I think yeah, in the movie that that didn't happen. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to remember. If Piccolo actually did take a giant blast. I remember him going up in the air and then just getting pulverized by Cell, and then the transformation occurred. Yeah, because I remember Cell Max like holding Piccolo in one hand when he came down to the ground. Yeah, you know, um, so a little bit of a difference there. Not exactly sure why they, why they wanted Gamma One to, you know, save Piccolo, but hey, uh, you know, Gamma One will probably never be seen again after this arc. This is just <laughs> just got to give him as much story time as he can, because that's all he ever will get. He'll. He'll be a servant, probably serving lemonade to the, you know, the briefs. So. Well, yeah, I was gonna say he's supposed to be the body, a bodyguard to Bulma and yep. them. So probably not far off. Yep, but then power scaling will occur, and he'll be just as strong as the Cybermen, probably, because <laughs> everyone just, everyone in the next saga is a billion times stronger than everyone now. So just, <laughs> oh, it is okay, whatever. Uh, get so max just. Trying to create his, uh, you know, universal spirit bomb or negative, whatever Omega Shenron created, you know, all that negative energy. Regardless, that's just a joke. That's a GT reference for all the viewers who have not watched GT. Do it. You will appreciate it a little bit more. <laughs> and he, he's gearing up to throw his giant uh, energy beam down at Gohan and, uh, and Piccolo. Um, you know, he, he gets back up and tries to assist in holding a cell in place uh, cell realizes that gohan is now charging a special beam cannon and that he has no chance for survival so he tries to bail and piccolo doesn't allow him and uh and this is where then we get some other people assisting i don't i also don't recall this part yeah this Maybe. is new this is new okay so uh different from the movie is that while Cell is trying to fly away with his wings and not his energy I guess <laughs> um, Gamma 1 and Krillin come in to um, destroy his wings <laughs> and, and cut him off to, uh, to well, assist in getting him held in place and um, 18 you know also assisting on this other panel and uh, yeah Piccolo now in the role of what Goku was against Raditz, holding a cell in place, and and then we get the wind up here, and chapter ends. So as as we've been saying, I don't think we're uh, you know not kind of E equals M C square kind of like predictions and science and all that stuff here, but yeah, next next month. Chapter one hundred will be the end of this uh, chapter. Cell Max will get, will get, you know, special beam cannon right through his head. Spoiler alert! Um, probably in the first ten pages, and and then we'll wind down for for the new year. So. Yeah, I mean, we've been we've been saying it since almost like chapter eighty nine ninety that this is probably gonna because one hundred is gonna end the year. That they're going to do something special with 100. They already said that one's going to be like in color the first couple pages. Yeah. And this arc is going to end, like you said, the first couple of chapter. I mean, first couple pages of that. And then we're, we don't know what's happening in the rest of 100. So 
we got that right that they're ending it off on 100. Yeah, so uh, then, yep, yeah, we'll start the new year. I would think that we're going to get, you know, a new manga coming, but uh, you know, it's it's interesting to think that you know when when Daima comes next year, mm -hmm. we'll probably be in the middle of a manga arc. Yeah, you know? these things last way more than twelve months each one, so. Maybe. Yeah, and these past couple ones, like when one of the mangas end, they show like a little teaser or whatnot of what's to of what's to come, like of a character, like oh who is that, like type thing. So, I man, I really don't know what they're gonna do to end chapter one hundred. Like, I we're finally gonna have to like start asking questions of what the next arc is gonna be. Would it be a real bummer if all they did was just end it on the Goku Vegeta fight, like the very tail end, just like they did in the movie? Like, if they don't show Black Frieza or like some sort of foreshadowing of what's to come, you think that'd be a bummer, or will it just ultimately depend on what happens in January? I think it's gonna ultimately depend on what happens in January because. Once 2024 starts, they're going to have, like you said, Dime was coming out in 2024. It's confirmed. Obviously, me and you were movie fans, we're MCU fans. We know that things can be confirmed and then something happens and they get delayed because of production. But currently, Dime was confirmed for 2024, so the hype to build that up. I think that they're going to start off with something new. New manga new show and then maybe they do everything new new game like announcement maybe yeah. and they'll also 2024 is the 40th year anniversary so yeah because we just had 39 it just passed like a day or so ago so mitch again that that'd be 39 year anniversary to dragon ball still dominating it's wild man it's hard. It's hard to believe that there's, you know, uh, I'm 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 trying to think of a like television show. Now, granted, there was there's some years off in between it, but like, I'm trying to think of shows that have that kind of like longevity. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're talking like you know, The Simpsons still keeps pumping out. Um, Whenever I think of other shows, I think of, like, live, like, kind of stuff, you know, like, WWE, like, mm -hmm. I almost think WWE is cheating, but, I mean, <laughs> it still counts, I mean, like, but then I start thinking of, like, game shows, you know, like, Price is Right, or, like, whenever it comes to longevity, or, like, you know, Alex Trebek and, like, Jeopardy, but, like, it's impressive, 40, 40 years well, of yeah. anything. Yeah, 40 years since... Dragon Ball started, and then Dragon Ball Z, and then obviously GT, and then there's a 10-year break, then Super, and all the, ga all the games coming out, and Byron in the YouTube comments talking about, I was the captain of the L7C, talking about he just wants the Tenkaichi 4 news in January. That's what he wants. And just Keep for... Praying, man. Keep praying. I mean, just for um that comment alone, Mitch, I think that shows, like, there's different Dragon Ball fans. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of Dragon Ball fans who, that's true. They only they don't care about the manga or the anime. They want the video game. And then there's the people who have never read the manga who keep asking people like me and you, like, man, when's Super coming back? When's Super coming back? And then there's yeah. people like us who've read the mangas, like, Super hasn't left. The manga's still going. We're the ones waiting for this to be animated so you guys stop asking us when super is coming back you know that's the thing too to think about uh, with some of the viewers is that they're how they know the dragon ball universe is through video games mm -hmm. like, there are some people that have never read or watched like dragon ball or mm -hmm. even Z for that matter i think a lot of people our age and a little bit older definitely mm -hmm. have watched Z because that's what we grew up but like the younger generation um unless their parents own like the dvds or 
they have spent countless hours trying to piece together things on YouTube, mm -hmm. or you know they have a like a uh, like a Funimation or a Crunchyroll subscription. Like if they're not playing the video games, they they don't know what all happened in Z or whatnot. And not until you know DBZ Kakarot or Dragon Ball Kakarot started introducing storylines from Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. I mean. Some people didn't even know about the Red Ribbon Army. And here we are talking about it in this arc. So it's like, it's, yeah. um, yeah, the video games are just the basis, the foundation for some people's fandom. Um, yeah. With this, uh, yeah. Series, so. And then each ver each different um, video game in the Dragon Ball Spear right now hits a different type of video gamer. Like Dragon Ball Fighters is for competitive gamers like this is game a game that goes on evo like people who play tekken and mortal kombat competitively they play that game because it's the same type of style but again like they they might go yeah i like dragon ball and stuff but they're in it for the competitiveness of that game and like kakarot you basically get a retelling of the story xenoverse that's 2 you're making your own character that's the thing with fighter z or like xenoverse mm -hmm. like those stories kind of follow what has happened, but because there's, you know, there's time or, you know, time travel for Xenoverse, mm -hmm. there's this, the spiritual cross of you as a player using the bodies of the, of the fighters and, mm -hmm. and that whole shenanigans, like those are, those are set in their own universes. They're, they're kind of, they kind of follow the main story and how everything works, but, other than that, they, they deviate. So, yeah, if you're not playing Kakarot, if you're not playing old school like Budokai or like, you know, the Tenkaichi series, yeah, you're you're just waiting for the next one to come but out. But it's crazy, too, how some of the stuff in the video games have been coinciding with each other. All different games are coinciding with each other and have infiltrated the main story manga and thing because Android 21... Her debut was in Dragon Ball Fighters. Yep. None of us knew when me and you watched, we had no idea who that woman is. Lord and behold, in the game, they're like, that was who Dr. Jero, when he was a human, was married to, and that's who when Android 16 was a human, that's his mom. And then we're like, oh, that's just gonna be the game thing. They transfer that woman to Kakarot. They tr they made it official in the manga in the movie. Like that type of tie-in is crazy. Yeah, yeah. The I'm trying to think if that is the first or maybe the only yeah first time in which uh, the video games have you know made their way actually into the manga, mm -hmm. made something in the manga. Um, yeah, I can't I can't think of something that reverse. I mean, the closest thing that you can think of, you know, is like how they like retconned Broly. Yeah. But that was from a movie. Mm -hmm. And then, well, yeah. But. Speaking of Barley, we're probably going to see him in the next chapter. Maybe that will be the last thing. Him crying about how great yeah. the Goku and Vegeta fight was. If I even, Because they didn't even show that fight ever again since the... Once they got to Earth. I need, I need to see some Broly, man. I need... I need to see Black Frieza and Broly go at it. Because I need Frieza to whoop his ass for an hour. <laughs> I don't think it... I think if Broly gets punched by Frieza, he might die. Maybe. Because I don't... Man, he punched Ultra Instinct in the chest, man. <laughs> like... <laughs> That he did, and alter ego. Yeah, and, the, and they were... And they, they got knocked out of the forms. Like, I don't know if... I, I don't know, but I do. Do you want that to be next, Black Freezer? Or do you want to try and finally get some multi universal stuff that we've all thought would happen before Black Freezer? I think, I, um, if if Frieza is doing is is causing mayhem, like in universe, no, it it has to be Black Freezer. This man cannot be. 
he cannot be so gosh damn strong and then just be sitting around doing nothing, <laughs> like not causing any problems. Like, what if he's keep? What if he's trading right now? They are so screwed. It just. Breezo's always wanted to cause problems, especially whenever he's the strongest. So it's like, if, yeah, if, if he's causing mayhem in Universe 7, then absolutely, like, this this next arc has to be the death of Breezo. But, like, maybe, you know, it would be cool is if, you know, Breezo actually went to other universes. Like, yeah. you know, he found a way to traverse them, and, and then he's trying to take over the multiverse, because... We've kind of always have had Frieza trying to conquer, you know, Universe 7. We need mm-hmm. him to... We need to up the stakes. I think that would be really cool, too, because then if Frieza's taking over other universes, then the other universes are getting pissy at Universe 7, especially Lord Beer is saying, this was your problem in your universe. Now you let him get all this strong. Now he's taking over other universes. You need to come take care of this, too. So then Beerus we might have to actually fight. Yep. Unless we see, you know, like a Jiren, like, Frieza rematch. Oh, so Frieza's gonna, he's gonna go through the uh, hit list of just going through all the uh, yeah. Yeah, people. He's, he's, his revenge tour, everyone who embarrassed him. Oh, well. I mean. Mitch, you, you got someone trying to pop into your thing. Uh-oh. Hold on, I got a, you got a special guest coming in. Well, they are joining. Let's see if they click in or not. But you got someone trying to hijack the live stream. Oh, let's hear it. Let's see it. And look who, who's hijacking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hi, everyone, to the L7C Dragon Ball podcast. My name is Jacob Mason. I'm here to uh, hop in to help Mitch Ozo get some views because he's getting that ass beat in the ratings. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. <laughs> Haven't spoke to this guy more than one time in like four months, and now he wants to make an appearance. <laughs> I just called you the other day to be like, hey, man, here's some like free bets, and you're like, I already lost them. And I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Yep, yep. Freaking ridiculous. Gambling sucks, man, but I love it. So, <laughs> so, so Dragon Ball, Mitch, why don't you tell me about it? Oh, man. As he comes in at the tail. <laughs> Let me just repeat everything that we've said. No, no. <laughs> J- nah. Jacob, we were reviewing the last chapter, which was adapting the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie that you and your wife saw. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, uh, Mitch, uh, do you know what it's like to go Super Saiyan? <laughs> yeah, man. Whenever next year comes along and I bounce back and uh, completely destroy you in the ratings, that'd be kind of equivalent. <laughs> I mean, because you have, I mean, consider me like, uh, I don't know, like Frieza or Cell. Just absolutely beating that ass when it comes to the ratings here. And I'm just hoping you come back like a like a Super Saiyan because, you know, come back more powerful the closer you get to death. You know, I read the handbook. I Okay, the Jacob, I see you. <laughs> Jacob, you're the closest thing to Dodoria in this entire universe. That's still <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> Listen, that's okay. That's okay. It's all right, you know. Store losers, you know. Some of us can't lose in pride, you know. It's all right, man. Hey, I'm here. I figure uh, for every view you get on this podcast, I should get at least half a view. What? <laughs> to add to my, my tally of total because I'm here helping you out. You're welcome. Jacob, you need to like. I think your tally needs to be cut in half because every you, like everyone in the city of Chicago should never count. <laughs> like, like you got a whole bunch of CM Punk wor- worshippers just. You know, <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, that's her. fine. That's fine. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, this is basically a teaser for the end of the year podcast at this point. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen. If uh, if we're not going to count the, the listeners of Chicago, the CM Punk faithful, well, then I feel like I should get 20 views per Saudi Arabia view we get. 
<laughs> because I literally just talked shit the whole time about them, and they still listen. <laughs> so, Jacob, I, I do have a question, though, because you're right. This is this is teasing the end-of-year podcast, the best podcast of the year next month. What are you going to do if you actually lose? Yeah, I'll, I'll take my loss right on the chin, you know? I'll say Mitch was a better man. Okay. I'll just... Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be shocked. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be the first time I've lost to Mitch, you know? And... If I'm going to lose to somebody, I, I have no problem losing to Mitch. You know, me and Mitch grew up together like besties, you know. I, I got no problem with it. If Mitch beats me, more power to him. Okay. But I'm a nice guy, and we all know that ain't going to fucking happen. <laughs> I'm glad you're a bigger man than me, because I can't. I can't, man. Fucking losing to you is the worst thing ever. I would rather drink bleach. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. What's going to be great is, is <laughs> if, let's say if, this is all hypothetical, because you never know. You can make a hell of a comeback, you know. Dragon Ball had all that stuff, you know, that are going back to everyone's going to be a kid now or something like that. Oh, God, but, yeah. <laughs> Next year. But, uh, let's say you make epic come from behind victory. Uh, you know, I... I I would just be happy for you, buddy. <laughs> Jacob, do you think you're going to have more episodes in the top 10 of this year than Mitch? I don't know. Shake your head, yes. <laughs> Shake your head, yes. This has been such a struggle retelling this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's a possibility, but, you know, anything can happen. Okay. Okay. I'm, just here for, I'm just here for the L7C. I'm yeah. just here for the company and to make everyone better, and that's why I'm here. There you go. So I'll give you some more positivity going into the new year because I'll tell you this: if uh, if Dragon Ball doesn't have a uh, a new manga arc coming out with chapter like 101, I mean, Daima's not going to come out until the end of next year. Let's say it comes out in October. That's the first nine months that I won't have anything good to talk about. So, I mean, you might win two straight years, man. Ooh, that's tough. I mean, matter is if, if I beat you, Mitch, I, I, at that point, I just don't even see a reason to keep the, keep the contest going because <laughs> I've already won. I've established my dominance. So what I don't see what talking about. I ran, I ran this train for three years, man. <laughs> <laughs> John oh, brother. <laughs> I will say that the new 101, chapter 101, needs to be new stuff for Mitch because, I mean, as soon as the year starts for Jacob, he's in Royal Rumble mode, then WrestleMania, then SummerSlam. Oh, yeah. Like, we're right off the rip. We're in busy season. New year comes, we're in busy season. We're on the wrestling side, you know? We're in, we don't take things slow like the Dragon Ball side. We just don't power <laughs> up when things get slow. We just do roster reports and just keep it going. We just don't complain. We just make things happen. Yeah, fucking season pass. <laughs> you guys Fortnite, man. Just freaking just roster up. Oh, Seriously. man. But, uh, but who knows? Um, Jacob, next Tuesday, though, might be Mitch's most popular episode of all time, depending on what happens with the Ohio State-Michigan game, because he, he's going to come on to the football one next weekend either – Issue an apology or go off on Ohio State. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What? First off, what the hell would you ever apologize for? Oh, you need to listen to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am not a, I have not shown support for Ohio State head coach Ryan Day the past two years. And I ripped into him last year. And I, if he, if he doesn't win this Saturday, man, oh, it's going to be gonna be hot but if he wins and i gotta show up on that podcast next week and issue an apology because you know like he beat michigan he would have beat michigan and and mitch will be rich but, yep and uh yeah and i'll well, be rich what's the, uh, what's the point spread on the game already like three and a half isn't it yeah it's three and a half now it opened at four yeah so it's using underdog right now yep so, so. But, uh, but yeah, and you know, the, 
I don't know, Jacob, how much you pay attention to college football, but there's a big old scandal with Michigan going on right now due to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard all yep. about that. So, yeah, so it's like... Busted for what every other college team has done forever. Like, okay. Yep. Well, but all right. <laughs> Mitch, anything else you want to add on Dragon Ball? I mean, we talk about, again, predictions. We've been right for nine months that it was this stuff was going to end on 100, which it will. Uh, Dragon Ball Manga Chapter 100 is going to drop December 20th. Um, anything you want to say before we close shop? Nope, just happy Thanksgiving, everyone. You're probably listening to this. If you're not listening to it live, then uh, you probably listen to it. Or, do these instantly go up if they're live? Yeah, it's instantly. Like, we're instantly on YouTube now. So once, once we end, it'll be on the YouTube. And then what I'll do is what I did for the College Football on Tuesday. I'll do it with yours and Jacob. Post them onto like the uh, anchor sites, um, in the like tonight or tomorrow. Link to our YouTube one that we just yeah, did. Jacob it's already our... posted the whole okay. thing. <laughs> He's not I playing did have games. To get out by our boss, Mr. Martin, for not posting my shit. <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help you out because. When when it comes to the end of the year, when I make the cutoff, like this day is the last day I'm counting people's stuff, and I do you and Mitch. It's like, hey, you got to make sure you get get your views where you can. Yeah, well, like, listen, you know, it's like golf. Mitch has a handicap going into this. I'm trying to help him out. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Just having what? a club is my handicap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, guys. Uh, for my prediction with Dragon Ball, I bet if I was going, if I'm, if I was a betting man, which I am, I, I would guess that there's probably going to be a uh, new power level. Probably be my guess. That's actually not a bad guess. <laughs> well, that's also like negative three thousand. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> I bet. I bet Goku. Uh, you know, uh, just forgets he has a son. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, that I start to wonder if Gohan's new transformation here is just his attempt at Super Saiyan three because it's just his hair is ridiculously long for no reason. You could say the same about Vegeta's when he's his attempt because he has no eyebrows. Yep. Yeah, just. But with that being said, Mitch, it's actually great you said Happy Thanksgiving because I don't think we said that on either of the previous two pots. So I hope everyone has a. Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Can't wait to get these two on the end of year podcast with everyone else because obviously these two are going against each other, but everyone else is going against them too, trying to be number one. Little teaser for who's going to have the number one pod next when we come back in December as a group. Cannot wait for that. Sounds good. Well, enjoy the night, everyone, and 